Hey guys, it's Joe with PocketNow.com. You know, in the computing world, there are two problems with randomness. First of all, it's not really random, it's only pseudo-random. And the process to make pseudo-random more random, well, it takes a lot of computing power. To help keep your tablet or smartphone whizzing along, there's a collection of randomness already in place. Apps can pull from this randomness and use it whenever they need, well, something random. Until it runs out. Once it's empty, it's got to be restocked. And until then, all the processes that need a random bit, they're stuck, and you're waiting, and it's slow. But what if there were an app that could make random just a little bit less random and speed up your entire device? That's the claim of one app, and it might just work. The app is called Cedar 1.1 Entropy Generator and it's said to provide significant lag reduction. How does it do that and does it work? Well, if you want the exact technical details, head over to pocketnow.com and read what the developer has to say. In short, the developer is utilizing a semi-random pool to write into the random pool at one second intervals. The result, he says, is significant lag reduction, with an exclamation mark. He continues, Chrome, Maps, and other heavy applications switch instantaneously and map tiles populate as fast as I can scroll. Wow, that's pretty impressive. In fact, he goes as far to say, problem solved, but don't take my word for it, give it a shot. So we did. We installed the app on both a Nexus 4 and a Nexus 7, and we went about a normal day. Benchmarks didn't yield much change from stock, but day-to-day -day activities seemed snappier. Maybe this app could really improve all-around performance after all. Unfortunately, there's a lot of heated debate around this quote-unquote fix. Arguments from it makes you less secure to it just doesn't work are being thrown around left and right. People are passionate on both sides of the aisle. Either it's the greatest thing since sliced bread or it's nothing more than a placebo. Then a cyanogen mod maintainer chimed in. In short, he says, the recent entropy pool fad is bull. The only conceivable reason some devices may feel faster is because, by constantly polling, it keeps the device's I.O. in constant use, which, in turn, and depending on device, will make the CPU stick to a higher clock frequency and keep up or ramp up the I.O. schedule accordingly. But does it work? Ironically, the answer is, yeah but probably not for the reason that the developer intended to solve. In our tests, Chrome was snappier and Google Maps was much quicker drawing tiles. Why? Probably not because the entropy pool was any quicker, but because the CPU and I.O. processes were being kept hot by the app, constantly updating the system with new and less random bits. In short, the CPU wasn't returning to a slower speed as frequently, resulting in a faster experience and shorter battery life. All in all, it was an interesting experiment and an interesting concept. The app, or rather the device when running the app, does make your everyday activities seem a little bit faster, though probably not for the reasons that the app is trying to solve. What would solve it? Faster processors. Or keeping your processor running faster longer. Unfortunately, both of those probably mean shorter battery life. And it's a fine line between battery life and performance. It's an age-old problem. But hopefully we've put this magic voodoo to bed and you can try it for yourself if you want. Just realize it's not doing what you think it's doing and it's going to eat up your battery life faster if you do decide to run with it on all the time. But if you want that little bit of extra speed and you don't want to go with some kind of a custom solution that just keeps your processor running faster all the time, this is certainly something you can try. What do you think? Let us know in the comments over at pocketnow.com, and if you liked this kind of half-and-half half debunking and justifying approach to Cedar 1.1, give the video a big thumbs up. For Pocket Now, debunking stuff that sounded pretty cool, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.